In mathematics, a discrete logarithm is an integer k solving the equation bk equals g, where b and g are elements of a finite group. Discrete logarithms are thus the finite group theoretic analog of ordinary logarithms, which solve the same equation for real numbers b and g, where b is the base of the logarithm and g is the value whose logarithm is being taken. No efficient general method for computing discrete logarithms on conventional computers is known. Several important algorithms in public key cryptography base their security on the assumption that the discrete logarithm problem over carefully chosen groups has no efficient solution. Example, discrete logarithms are perhaps simplest to understand in the grouper. This is the group of multiplication modulo the prime p. Its elements are congruence classes modulo p, and the group product of two elements may be obtained by ordinary integer multiplication of the elements followed by reduction modulo p. The kth power of one of the numbers in this group may be computed by finding its kth power as an integer and then finding the remainder after division by p. When the numbers involved are large, it is more efficient to reduce modulo p multiple times during the computation. Regardless of the specific algorithm used, this operation is called modular exponentiation. For example, consider a to compute 34 in this group, compute 34 equals 81, and then divide 81 by 17, obtaining a remainder of 13. Thus 34 equals 13 in the grouper. The discrete logarithm is just the inverse operation. For example, consider the equation 3ka per mil 13 for k. From the example above, one solution is k equals 4, but it is not the only solution. Since 316 a per mil 1 a euro as follows from Fermat's little theorem a euro it also follows that if n is an integer then 34 plus 16 na per mil 34 a, na per mil 13 a, 1 na per mil 13. Hence the equation has infinitely many solutions of the form 4 plus 16 n. Moreover, since 16 is the smallest positive integer m satisfying 3 m a per mil 1, that is 16 is the order of 3 i na, these are the only solutions. Equivalently, the set of all possible solutions can be expressed by the constraint that k a per mil 4. Definition, in general, let g be any group with its group operation denoted by multiplication. Let b and g be any elements of g. Then any integer k that solves b k equals g is termed a discrete logarithm of g to the base b. We write k equals log b g. Depending on b and g, it is possible that no discrete logarithm exists, or that more than one discrete logarithm exists. Let h be the subgroup of g generated by b. Then h is a cyclic group, and integral LOGBG exists for all G in H. If H is infinite, then LOGBG is also unique, and the discrete logarithm amounts to a group isomorphism. On the other hand, if H is finite of size n, then LOGBG is unique only up to congruence modulo n, and the discrete logarithm amounts to a group isomorphism. Where Zn denotes the ring of integers modulo n. The familiar base change formula for ordinary logarithms remains valid, if C is another generator of H, then Algorithms No efficient classical algorithm for computing general discrete logarithms LOGBG is known. The naive algorithm is to raise B to higher and higher powers K until the desired G is found. This is sometimes called trial multiplication. This algorithm requires running time linear in the size of the group G and thus exponential in the number of digits in the size of the group. There exists an efficient quantum algorithm due to Peter Schott. More sophisticated algorithms exist, usually inspired by similar algorithms for integer factorization. These algorithms run faster than the naive algorithm, some of them linear in the square root of the size of the group, and thus exponential in half the number of digits in the size of the group. However none of them run in polynomial time. Baby step giant step, function field sieve, index calculus algorithm, number field sieve, Pohlig euro hellman algorithm, Pollard's row algorithm for logarithms, Pollard's kangaroo algorithm. Comparison with integer factorization, while computing discrete logarithms and factoring integers are distinct problems, they share some properties, both problems are difficult, 
for both problems efficient algorithms on quantum computers are known, algorithms from one problem are often adapted to the other, and, the difficulty of both problems has been used to construct various cryptographic systems. Cryptography, there exist groups for which computing discrete logarithms is apparently difficult. In some cases a, there is not only no efficient algorithm known for the worst case, but the average case complexity can be shown to be about as hard as the worst case using random self-reducibility. At the same time, the inverse problem of discrete exponentiation is not difficult. This asymmetry is analogous to the one between integer factorization and integer multiplication. Both asymmetries have been exploited in the construction of cryptographic systems. Popular choices for the group G in discrete logarithm cryptography are the cyclic groups A, and cyclic subgroups of elliptic curves over finite fields. While there is no publicly known algorithm for solving the discrete logarithm problem in general, the first three steps of the number field sieve algorithm only depend on the group G, not on the specific elements of G whose finite log is desired. By pre-computing these three steps for a specific group, one need only carry out the last step, which is much less computationally expensive than the first three, to obtain a specific logarithm in that group. It turns out that much Internet traffic uses one of a handful of groups that are of order 1024 bits or less, for example cyclic groups with order of the Oakley primes specified in RFC 2049. The logjam attack used this vulnerability to compromise a variety of Internet services that allowed the use of groups whose order was a 512-bit prime number, so-called export grade. The authors of the logjam attack estimate that the much more difficult pre-computation needed to solve the discrete log problem for a 1024-bit prime would be within the budget of large national intelligence agencies such as the U.S. National Security Agency. The logjam authors speculate that pre-computation against widely reused 1024 DH primes is behind claims in leaked NSA documents that NSA is able break much of current crypto. References Richard Crandall. Carl Pomerantz. Chapter 5, Prime Numbers, A Computational Perspective, 2nd ed., Springer. Stinson, Douglas Robert, Cryptography, Theory and Practice, London, CRC Press, ISBN 978-1-58488-508-5.